This April marks the 11th consecutive Herb Fest, one of the most anticipated annual events in the town of Wake Forest. At this 10 day long event, you can gain knowledge about the history of herbs, how to take care of them, their health benefits, and of course, using them in cooking. Videographer Alan Brown has a preview of what you can experience at Herb Fest. Was their stay here and they're jumping in their swimming pool when they get ready to go swimming. This is Bob Johnson. But you can actually take the ducks and geese, put them in your garden, they will eat the weeds. A man who is passionate about many things, his family, his business, and his community. Your head is warm and it makes the oils come out of the lavender flower and it helps you fall asleep. One of his additional passions is the world of herbs. Over the years, Bob, his wife Elizabeth, his children, and some friends have established an annual festival called Herb Fest. But don't call it a plant sale, at least not around Bob. We actually have a lifestyle festival. And I think many of the people that come here, they find out that herbs can actually be integrated to make their lives better. And that includes ones you care about what you put in your body. A lot of times with herbs, it's not so much that the herbs are the healthy thing, but once you acquire a taste for herbs, you lose your taste for things that aren't healthy for you. What can people do at a plant sale? I mean, a, a lifestyle festival like Herb Fest? For one thing, you can stop and smell the herbs. And you can learn about the history and practical application of herbs. A couple of things we've tried to do is extend our educational seminars, and that can be oriental medicine, uh, feng shui garden design, reiki. We got into organic gardening. What about vegetables? You think I could give my worms things like lettuce or tomatoes? They're down there eating my food and making compost for my plants. I mean, we got bukus of herbs, but that's not what people are really here for. They want to learn tell me about a plant, tell me how I can use it, tell me how it will enhance my life. And I think they're, they're seeking more education and information than they are actually plants. And one of the nice things is people coming back year after year and telling us stories about some of the herbs they got and how they grew and what they did and how they've learned to use them. And we have the kids coming up from the schools and the kids go, oh, that's slam's ear, that's the first band-aid, that's the first toilet tissue. Here's rosemary and it makes ticks go away. And you know that you've had a little nanosecond of pleasure in their lives and I mean, that makes you feel good. It's phenomenal. The numbers and varieties I've never even heard of. So it's just amazing. If you're interested in kitchen gardening or just learning more about the uses of herbs, come here to learn and experience all kinds of uses for herbs and classes and just um, having a day outside to learn more about gardening. And don't forget to look for the man in the gardening hat who began this annual lifestyle festival in order to enrich people's lives through the wonders of herbs. People come here looking for solutions. They want to say, you know, I'd like to be able to walk outside get a tomato, stay at my own house, put some mozzarella cheese, a little bit of basil on it, extra virgin olive oil, and just enjoy my home. And that's one of the big things that comes out of this. People looking for an alternative to the lifestyle they're presently living, and all they're trying to do is modify it so they enjoy their home and their family more. And I think that's what brings people here. This year's Herb Fest begins on Friday, April 16th and continues through Sunday, April 25th. The activities are at Festival Park in Wake Forest on South White Street. For more information, give them a call at 800-937-3993 or go online to herbfest.net.